Hello and welcome back for episode 3 of Let's Play Exile. We we're just about to enter the barracks, where I'm sure there'll be wonderful things for us. Let's see. Long table. Bunch of beds. And I can tell you all those drawers are empty. Worst barracks ever. Thought at least there might be some weapons in there. But no, absolutely nothing. Check out this sign here. And this tells you that over a hundred thousand, apparently, prisoners like us, they've thrown through the portal. Must be Stalin in charge of the overworld. This house here. Judging by all the plants here, probably Dunbar's house, but nothing for us in there either. So we're running out of things to do here in the fort, but I'm basically just running around to map. You can't see it because it's in a separate window, but there is a little auto map. Talk to this woman. Middle-aged woman who seems to be in a big hurry. Like everyone else, she's extremely pale. Well, I'd fit in nicely in this town. I'm Janice, dear. You can call me Jan if you want. All right. Job. I'm in charge of supplies for the fort. The soldiers, they cook on their own, and I'm the one they go to for the food. And weapons and clothes. It's tedious work, but it keeps me busy as long as Theral is stationed out here. So if she's in charge of supplies, she ought to be able to tell me all about them. Hmm. She doesn't know about that. Okay. You said they went to you for food. Maybe you have that. You don't know about that either. You're clearly awesome at your job. She sighs, my husband, the sage. He helps the new arrivals get acclimated. Being out here depresses him terribly, being at the border and all. So this is Theral's wife, I guess. Ask about the border? Between the humans and the Nephilim. He's convinced they'll storm the fort any day now. Who knows? He may be right. Nephilim... Better ask Theral. Alright, so that makes now every single person in this town has told us to go see Theral. So let's finally go see him, shall we? Uh, first, over here there's some more evidence of how great Jan is at her job. These are the uh, storage facilities that she looks after. And in this one is just empty barrels stolen from Donkey Kong. And in this one, empty crates stolen, I assume, from Half-Life. But absolutely nothing of use in any of them giant waste of time to search through them, so I won't. Alright, here's finally Thero, so let's go talk to him. A slender, worried-looking man wearing impeccably pressed wizard's robes, he sits behind a book-laden desk. Name. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's Thero. Let me introduce myself. I'm Thero. I'm the sage for Fort Exile. The corner of his mouth twitches slightly. Tell me about being a sage. He grimaces, I'm here to help you. Well, don't sound so excited about it. Every day or so, our benevolent overlords above hurl a few more souls into the hellish cesspit. They come to me, and I tell them just how bad things are. Normally I'd be cheery, but today I'm just not in the mood. Anyway, I'm here to give info. So it sounds like he, for one, welcomes our new overlords. But if you've got info, I'm the boss. Need the info. For example, on our lovely neighbors, the Nephilim and the Slytherakai. Or nearby towns, or your chances for escape, or supplies, or politics. Uh, you've heard of Nephilim, there are many above ground, but you've never heard of Slytherakai. Alright, so there's tons of things that we can get uh, info on from him. We'll start with the Nephilim. The doom of all of us if the Slith don't get us first. Lots of them have been sent down here along with the humans. Many migrate to lower caverns, but many stay here, determined to take our land. A large tribe of them lives to the north. They don't arrive at Fort Exile, by the way. They teleport in somewhere else. So Nephilim are basically a cat-like race. And the Slytherakai are lizard men. They only live below ground, intelligent, powerful fighters, very magically talented. We've been at war with them for years, and lately things have been at a stalemate. They live to the west. Alright. Dunvo to the north, a farming community ravaged by Nephilim raids. You'd have better luck at Silvar to the west. It's the largest settlement nearby. Help Dovno if you ever can. If it falls, this fort is next to go. Now we've already got supplies, but he'll tell us to go see Tor, which we've done. Get some basic equipment so you aren't totally doomed. So how doomed am I? Is there any chance for escape? No chance. None whatsoever. We all stay down here until monsters hunt us down like dogs. That sucks. May as well learn about politics. So each town has a mayor. The mayors form the council. The council co-rules with the king. The lord of our homie little pit. He lives in the great cave, a ways south and a ways west, where you'll also find the castle. Castles are pride and joy. We built a real castle of rocks, crude magic, and spit. King Micah lives there, orchestrating our desperate defenses. You should see it. It's reasonably impressive. It's in the Great Cave to the southwest. 
We'll eventually go there, but not for quite a while. Got a lot of stuff to do in this area first. But with that, we're done in Fort Exile, and we can now go out and explore the rest of the world. So as we walk out the gates, it'll kick us to the world map. And there we are. We now look giant compared to the fort. This sign will point us to the nearest towns. So Dovno to the north, Silvar to the west. Silvar is closer, and that's where Theral suggested that we should go. And so we will go there, because there we can pick up some better weapons. So we'll make a dash to the west, and we will hope that we don't get attacked on the way. Because we have terrible weapons, which I actually forgot to ever equip. So I really hope we get there without getting attacked. And it looks like we will. And there it is, Silvar. So this sign here will tell us of a couple places that we haven't heard of yet. Kotra and Mirtis. It also gives a sense of scale. You can see we went 20 miles there, and the castle is hundreds of miles to the southwest. So next episode we will enter Silvar and we will purchase some new weapons to arm ourselves against the horrid beasts we are sure to face. So until then, thanks for watching.